paid Marion Barry to be mayor, it's Ben Becker and Martin Jefferson. And from Arizona, where people have actually paid to see the Diamondbacks, it's Kevin Walsh and Tim Walsh. Sadly, life doesn't get any better than this here on the Ultimate Fan League. Sweet Paul. All right, our teams are representing, uh, respectively, Fox Sports Arizona and home team sports. Each team plays six games. Teams with the best record go on in the playoffs. All right, Kevin, Tim, Ben, Martin, here are the rules. You throw a ball at the big board, I ask a question, that's it. I'm the host. I don't want any trouble. All right, any problems with where the ball landed? We go to our line judge, Amy Miller. Amy! <laughs> today, Paul. Looking good, eh? All right, Arizona, you're the visiting team. You throw the first ball at the board. Do it now or forever hold your peace. Basketball, Bill. Basketball. Basketball movies that sucked. <laughs> I'll read a review. You identify the films. Not only does Rosie Perez not shut her cake hole for two seconds in this piece of crap, but Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson try to play basketball. Yikes! D.C. Martin. White man can't jump. That is true, yes. I have a three inch vertical. All right, for two points, here's a realistic plot. And by realistic, I of course mean completely ridiculous. Michael J. Fox stars as a teenager who turns into a werewolf so he can play basketball. DC Martin. Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf, yeah. For three points, Marlon Wayans and Kadeem Hardison are teammates in this 1997 movie. Sadly, Kadeem dies. Even more sadly, the film lives, and Kadeem's ghost guides the team to victory. DC Martin. Six Man. Yes, a miserable, terrible film. Blah. All right, DC, you're throwing a ball at the board. Baseball, Bill. You get baseball. Bad trades. Ooh. For one point, 1992, the White Sox get George Bell way past his prime. What outfielder goes to the Cubs just as he's entering his prime? Arizona, Tim. Sammy Sosa? Sammy Sosa, yes. The man. 1977, the Mets get Pat Zachary and three nobodies. Name the future 300-game winner who moves to Cincinnati in return. Arizona, Kevin. Tom Seaver. Yeah, Tom Seaver is correct. Tom Seaver. 1960. Steve Demeter goes to Cleveland and flops. Name the slugger who goes to Detroit and belts 373 home runs. Arizona Kevin. Norm Cash. Norm Cash is right, yeah. He of the court bat. Well done, Arizona. You're throwing a ball at the board. Football, Bill. Football. All right, NFL linebackers have fun with the thesaurus, thesaurus. Identify these big, scary linebackers with Pro Bowl vocabularies. To contend that I'm a fervent repugnant would convey but a fragment of my quintessence. Plus, I exceeded 130 career sacks for the New York Giants. All right, D.C. Martin. Lawrence Taylor. L.T. is correct, yeah. Many postulate that I'm the very paradigm of the rapacious gridiron competitor. Since I was a Pro Bowl linebacker in Chicago until 1973, I concur. Arizona, Kevin. Buttkiss. Dick Buttkiss, yes. <laughs> you gotta be a big guy to name it Dick Buttkiss. My accolades are multitudinous and well-merited. I'm colossal, I'm portentous, and I was the NFL Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year for Pittsburgh in 76 and 79. Arizona, Kevin. Jack Lambert. Jack Lambert is right. Yeah, well done. All right. Arizona, you're throwing a ball at the big board. What's it going to be? Basketball, Basketball. Well speedball, speedball. Here comes the basketball, speedball. Yes. Thing. All right, DC, you're out of this, gentlemen. Correct answers are worth one point in this category in 10 seconds. 
Name as many NBA overall number one picks since 1982 as you can. Amy, 10 seconds on the fake clock, please. 10 seconds, Bill. All right, go. go. Patrick Ewing. Michael Olo Candy. Chris Weber. Allen Iverson. Oh, uh, C2, Derek Coleman. Uh, Ralph Sampson. Larry Johnson. Hakeem Hakeem Seven. All right, not too shabby. It is a flawless game, and I mean without flaws. Every answer has been answered correctly. I think it's time for a TV timeout. Yeah, let's rest up, everybody. All right, score right now is DC 7, Arizona 18. We'll get back to the rest of the thing in a couple of things. Play and Arizona got Elijah Juan in just under the wire, so let's change that score, please. Now 19 to 7, Arizona in the lead. Let's meet our competitors from uh, DC Home Team Sports. Ben and Martin, how you guys doing? Good, good. Hey, good. Thanks for coming out, Martin. If you could go back in time and change any sporting event, the outcome of any sporting event, what would you do? Well, I'd probably get rid of the ice bowl with. Green Bay and, and Dallas because I'm sick of hearing everybody say the frozen tundra. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm sick of that. Just Tundra's that always frozen. Yeah, well. That's the thing. Too bad. Go it's move to Tampa or something. Wow. So that's, <laughs> wow. So that's your beef, huh? Yeah. So you would make the uh, ice bowl warmer. That's right. Oh, that's kind of neat. All right. Arizona, Kevin and Tim, the, the brothers Walsh, give me your favorite decathlon events. Kevin. Paul Vaughn. Really? Yeah. I would have guessed you as a high jump man. I don't I'm know. a high jump man. How about you, Tim? I'm a high jump man. All right. I didn't ask you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Good. Glad to have you guys. I've seen a, a lot of you guys. All right. That's it. Let's continue round one. Possession arrows with Arizona. Throw a ball, Kevin. Baseball, Bill. Baseball it is. Real accidents, real players. Identify these victims of actual off-the-field freak accidents from the following EMT transcripts. We made up. Yeah, we have a white male whose thumb got bit by a dog. He was helping off the highway. Claims to have won three Cy Youngs with Boston. The guy, not the dog. DC, Ben. Roger Clemens. Yeah, the rocket. That's correct. All right. For two points. Continue to watch your monitor. This guy says he hurt his back taking off his cowboy boots, but if you ask me, it sounds like he ate too much chicken. Six batting titles with the Red Sox, and he can't even take off his own shoes. Klutz. Arizona Kevin. Wade Boggs. Wade Boggs, that's right, yeah. yeah. Wade Boggs. Boggsy. All right, here's our last one for three points. Uh, yeah, we have a code C, section 131-er here. Yep, guy threw out his back sneezing. Says he led the Yankees in saves from 78 to 83. I say it's a damn shame. Ben, DC. Goose Gossage. That's right, yeah, well done. Yeah, DC making a charge. Go ahead and throw a ball at the big board, Martin. Football, Bill. Football. Alma maters. I'll name an NFL player. You tell me where he went to college. Desmond Howard. Arizona, Kevin. Michigan. That is correct. Tyrone Wheatley. D.C. Martin. Michigan. That is correct. For three points, Tony Banks. Kevin, Arizona. Michigan State. That is right. Yeah, well done. All right, Arizona. 25 points, throw a ball at the big board. Oh, and that bell means it's time for the Home Team Challenge. Home Team Challenge. Bam, bam, bam. Home Team Challenge. <laughs> teams home can earn, Team Challenge. Teams can earn big points bah. just by answering bah, 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 questions bah, bah. about their home team. Bah. DC, you are trailing, so you get the first crack. You can answer a question worth 5, 10, or 15 points. 15 points being the most difficult. What would you like to do? Five. Five, Wussies. all right. Wussies. Yeah. Wussies. We're afraid. Right. We're afraid. <laughs> For five points, what Providence Guard did the Wizards draft in the second round in 97? 
God Sham God. Yes, do you believe in him? Yes, God Sham God. That's correct. Arizona, 5, 10, or 15 points? We'll go 10. We're right. going 10. Yeah. Yeah. All right. For 10 points, who has won the most games as head coach of the Phoenix Suns? Here's that crazy music. John McLeod. John McLeod is right. Yeah. Nicely done. All right. Right, right now, our score is DC 18, Arizona 35. Coming back, we got round two of the Ultimate Fan League. Don't go anywhere. That was nice, Paul. All right, DC 18, Arizona 35. It's time for round two. All questions are worth twice as many points. Possession arrow is with DC. You're down by 17. Let's pick it up, fellas. Come on, throw a ball at the board. All right. Pump it up. <laughs> what a terrible toss. Oh. Amy, did that, did that that's hit? That's a foul, Bill. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, Martin, I can't. That's a terrible way. That's a puss arm way to start the round. All right, Arizona, go ahead, throw a ball. Missing the board completely. Baseball. Speedball, speedballs. Here comes another speedball question <laughs> about baseball. <laughs> All right. Because it's round two, these are worth two points each. Correct answers. Name as many Major League Baseball teams as you can with five or more World Series appearances. Amy, give me five seconds on your crazy clock, please. Ten seconds. Ten seconds, Bill. That's right, because it's round two. Go. Yankees. Dodgers. Cardinals. Um, Tigers. Athletics. Braves. Red Sox. Indians. All right, I got seven. Seven for 14 oh, points. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Oh, you missed the Cubs. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, they've been Cubs. They've been there. Arizona, 200 years ago. Go ahead. Sir. Basketball, Bill. Some basketball. Draft day blunders. Everybody makes mistakes, but they usually don't cost millions of dollars and make everybody in town hate you. For two points, Golden State fans were horrified when the Warriors took forward Todd Fuller with the eighth pick in the 96 draft. What future all-star Laker was still available? Arizona, Tim. Eddie Jones? Incorrect. DC? Kobe Bryant. That's right. Buzz in, Martin. Uh, Martin. Kobe Bryant. That's right. Yeah. I got it. There's rules, man. There's rules in this game. In 1989, the Clippers wasted their number two pick on a forward who not only wound up sucking, but also refused to play for them. Who is this former Blue Devil? DC Martin. Danny Ferry. That's right, yeah, well done. You buzzed in, yeah. For six points, the Celtics are sure glad, glad Golden State passed on Kevin McHale in 1980. What plotting Purdue center did the Warriors take with the number one pick instead? Arizona, Kevin. Joe Barry Carroll. Joe Barely Cares, yeah. Arizona with the last correct answer, throw a ball at the big board. Is that football? Close to being a fall, wasn't it, Amy? Yeah. Brian Cox etiquette. If there's one name that's synonymous with etiquette, it's Brian Cox. Identify who he's scolding for their bad boy behavior. I'm very disappointed in you for inviting hookers back to your hotel room. <laughs> the all-time Cowboys leader in receiving yards should know better. Next time, try watching the Fox Family Channel. <laughs> Sincerely, Brian. Arizona, Kevin. Michael Irvin. That is correct, yes. Sometimes teammates can be a pain, but when you pummeled Stephen Davis during practice in 1997, you not only let the Redskins down, you let me down. Your friend, Brian. DC, Ben. Michael Westbrook. That is correct. Nicely done. For six points. I know sometimes you need to escape the pressures of the NFL, but next time, use your head. Even your all-time Ravens rushing record doesn't erase the tarnish of your arrest. Fond wishes, Brian. D.C. Martin. Van Morris. Van Morris, yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. D.C. coming back. Throw a ball at the big board, Martin. Martin hit the board. So important. Up, yeah, line says he hit it. He hit it, right? Jersey math. 
Solve these simple equations using famous uniform numbers. Jim Brown's number minus O.J. Simpson's number. Arizona, Kevin. Zero. Zero is That's correct. Right. Zero. 32. Yeah. Joe Namath's number plus Terry Bradshaw's number. D.C. Ben. 24. That's right, 12 plus 12. Oh, yeah. For six points, Jerry Rice's number plus Chris Carter's number plus Steve Largent's number. D.C. Ben. 240. Right, well yeah. done. Yeah. Ben knows his math. All right, you're coming back, D.C. Come on, Martin, throw a ball at the board. All right. Yeah. Baseball. Scorecards. Scorecard, scorecard. Everybody loves scorecards. It's a lot like the Speedball song, isn't it? Look at this scorecard from a Toronto Blue Jays game and answer these questions. How many runs scored in this inning? Arizona, Kevin. Three. Three, that's right, yeah. Stewart, right, Canseco, and Delgado all scored. All right, here we go. What two position players made errors? There it is. In the inning. Arizona, Tim. Um, the catcher and the left fielder. Uh, that is correct, yeah. 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 All right. For six points, what base was Stewart on when Sean Green came up to bat? Arizona, Kevin. He was on second base. That's right, yeah. Wow. He, was in, he had a single and went to second, and who cares? All right, well, that's the end of round two. Scores right now, D.C. 44, Arizona 69. Still anybody's game because we're coming back with the two-minute warning. See if these guys know anything else besides sports. And uh, you know what? You know what I like to do right now? I would like to see what the second-place team is going to get. What is it? Brio's Compact Lido Pump Driven Espresso Cappuccino Maker. High-tech design, foolproof machine, outstanding performance that delivers perfect espresso again and again and again and from Brio. Worth only five points because nothing's more important than sports. At the end of the game, we will have a winner, and that winner will get this cool stuff. From Silent Snowboards, this great all-around board from their Pro Series, excellent for big mountain and half pipes, or the BK Series, perfect for wider body. From Silent Snowboards. See, I told you it was cool. Don't doubt me next time. All right, here's the score. DC 44, Arizona 69. Still, anybody's game. Give me two minutes on the clock. Amy. Two minutes, Bill. Two minutes. Gents, good luck. Here we go. What Orioles Cy Young winner model jockey underwear? DC Ben. Jim Palmer. That is correct. The Battle of the Bulge was fought in what war? <laughs> Arizona Kevin. The American Revolutionary War. That is incorrect. Ooh. DC Martin. World War II. That's right. <laughs> what Bears running back was known as Sweetness? DC Ben. Walter Payton. That's right. <laughs> what Nutrisweet sugar substitute comes in a blue packet? Arizona Tim. Um, extra. No, that's wrong. DC Ben. Equal. That's Equal. right. Equal. Yeah. Who coached Utah to the NCAA basketball title game in 1998? D.C. Martin. Rick Gutierrez. That's right. right. What is the object of the preposition in the sentence, I'm a fat tub of goo? <laughs> D.C. Ben. Of. Uh. That is incorrect. Arizona Kevin. Goo. Goo is right. right. What, what two teams were admitted into baseball in 1993? Arizona Kevin. Oh, the Florida Marlins and, and the Colorado Rockies. Correct. What, what two states were admitted into the Union in 1959? D.C. Ben. Hawaii and Alaska. That's right. Yeah. What CFL stars won three Grey Cup MVPs and six league MVPs in the 90s? Arizona, Tim. Doug Flutie. That's right. What late 80s syndicated show was about a little girl who's a robot? D.C. Ben. Small wonder. Yeah, my favorite show. What Raider running back tore the ACL of his knee on Monday Night Football 1994? Arizona, Kevin. Um. Time. D.C.? Napoleon McCallum. That's right. All right. What singer tore a photo of the Pope on Saturday Night Live in October of 92? D.C. Martin. Sinead O'Connor. Sinead O'Connor is correct. What huge offensive lineman did the Packers take with the number two? That's time! Hey, what a comeback! DC has missed. Stacey Fury has come back and won the game. 104 to 74 over Arizona. Wow.
Wow. All right. We got to go now. We're out of questions today. A great game today. Furious comeback by D.C. And they'll be battling Florida later on this week in Arizona. You'll be up against Denver in just a couple of weeks. That's all the time we have for today here on the UFL. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>